rent is so high, I mean, as much as a mortgage just about here in Brooklyn. From parents like Kevin Barbour worried their children won't be able to afford to stay in New York. Everybody's not going to leave New York because, you know, it's the place to be. At the same time, you know, you want to live comfortably. You know, you don't want to work paycheck to paycheck. To New Yorkers like Hotep Tom, who've already been priced out of their Brooklyn neighborhoods, the squeeze is real. Combine that with inflation, and the city is starting to lose some of the people who make it so vibrant. This is why addressing affordability, especially housing, was at the core of New York Governor Kathy Hochul's State of the State Address Tuesday. No more waiting for someone else to fix this problem. Housing is a human right. The governor is proposing creating 800,000 units of housing during the next decade by building around transit hubs, converting old offices and malls, rent relief, and most importantly, requiring every municipality to hit housing development goals. She's especially pushing for local communities, especially in places like on Long Island, to reform their restrictive zoning laws. And if they don't, she says the state will step in and greenlight projects. Hochul calls the whole package her housing compact. Overall, this plan is ambitious, but that's what New Yorkers expect from their leaders. The governor will also seek to tie the minimum wage to the consumer price index, allowing it to go above $15 per hour in the future. Plus, she wants to see massive investments in mental health for services, inpatient beds, and housing. Hochul also argues that her crime-fighting policies and investments are beginning to turn the corner on violent crime, and those will continue. But she wants to see one more tweak to New York's much-talked-about bail laws. The governor is suggesting removing legal language requiring judges to use the, quote, least restrictive criteria to set bail for the most violent criminals. Of course, we know that that won't automatically bring down crime rates. We don't expect that. We also have to make sure the law is clear for our judges.